Hi, I'm John Pearson from Enduro 21 and we're here in Yamsa in Finland testing the new 2020 model Husqvarna TE and FE Enduro models. Um, it's a great place to test bikes actually so it's it's a real real mixture of terrain so there's some really good classic Enduro tracks through the trees, lots of tree stumps, whooped out bits but equally there's some really good rocky sections where it's great to test the more extreme capabilities of the bike so you can pretend to be Graham and do these uh, kind of Graham Jarvis kind of kind of riding. For me there are some standout features for the bikes and it's, it really is a case of, of the 2020 models I feel like they've moved on significantly since 2019 so there are some changes to the to the chassis to make the bike handle better so you know I personally noticed it better on the faster stretches of, of the track you feel like the bike is more in your control and more agile um, and more more planted on the, the sections of track which are whooped and rutted out and they've got those little bumps that kind of tend to throw you all over the place these bikes now feel more stable for me also the other standout feature especially on the two-stroke the bike is so much more precise now and the, off the throttle so the mapping changes the software changes to the new models there's a new air intake funnel there's a new ambient air pressure sensor there's a new exhaust system which is all working together to deliver a, a quite a different characteristic quite a different feel for power from the bikes and for me they felt so much more precise more accurate to ride and I really enjoyed that also the four strokes they've got a little bit of a, a change to the to the engines the top of the engines a little bit more power in some places but the, the main thing you notice is that they feel more I guess you'd say sharp like sharper tools uh, the less tendency to to stall so in the technical bits the four strokes especially the bigger four strokes it was harder to stall them which is always a good thing on a four stroke doing those technical bits they were much easier to ride the other I guess major thing to say is that the, the bodywork, the way, the way you see it, the ergonomics as Casquana like to say, uh, it's, it's more, it's just a slightly narrower, there's some slight tweaks to the way you sit on the bike, it's, the seat is 10 mils, 10 mil lower and because of the new suspension linkage the whole bike is 20 mil lower, more or less 20 mil lower, but it just makes you feel a little bit more in control of the bike, a little bit more comfortable, it's a little bit more narrow here where your legs are, so for example, when you're standing up, going through the trees on the power, you feel more in control, your legs feel in a better place. And also when you're sort of dropping down steep climbs, steep rocky bits, you feel like you've got more room, more control of the bike. So overall, the new model range is, I would say, more precise to ride, easy to ride, and more stable, I guess. You feel more confident, that's the main thing.